Hello everyone and welcome to Spain on a Fork. I'm your host Albert Bevia. In today's episode, we're going to be making a recipe that was born right here in La Comunidad Valenciana, arroz a banda. This succulent rice dish is very similar to a seafood paella, except it has less ingredients and it's cooked in a different way. I'm going to show you an easy way to make this recipe. So let's get started. And here are the ingredients we'll be using. We have three cups of fish broth, one cup of round rice, about 15 jumbo shrimp that have already been peeled and deveined, one clean squid, half a cup of tomato puree, four cloves of garlic that have already been minced, about half a cup of extra virgin Spanish olive oil, half a lemon, a pinch of saffron in powder form, one teaspoon of smoked paprika, and some sea salt. Okay, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna grab our shrimp and we're gonna start cutting it. We're gonna start dicing it in about quarter inch slices. Next, we'll grab our squid, start cutting it in about half inch thick slices. Then we'll end up with some rings. What we'll do here is we'll just cut it in half. Then we're going to end up with some strips. Just want to cut it in squares. So from each ring, we're going to get about eight pieces. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to grab a small saucepan, turn on our fire to about a medium to high heat, and let's add our three cups of fish broth. Okay, next we're going to grab a paella pan. If you don't have a paella pan, you can use any type of frying pan. Let's turn on our fire to about a medium to high heat, and let's add our half cup of extra virgin Spanish olive oil. Okay, in about a minute after adding our oil, it's hot. You don't want it super hot, but it's already hot enough. Let's grab a little pinch of salt, put it on top of the oil, and let's add our squid that we cut into small squares. All right, once your squid gets a little bit of color, it's been in here about two minutes, let's go ahead and add our shrimp. About a minute and a half to two minutes after adding your shrimp, Let's go ahead and add our four minced garlic. Once you can smell the fragrance of that garlic cooking, it's been in there about 30 seconds. Let's go ahead and add our one teaspoon of smoked paprika. And our half cup of tomato puree. Add a generous pinch of sea salt. And about two minutes after adding your tomato puree, let's go ahead and grab our one cup of round rice and add it to the pan as well as your saffron in powder form. Okay, so it's been about five minutes since we added our rice to the pan. The next step, we're gonna grab our three cups of fish broth that we've had heating up and add it to the pan. And now let's mix the rice in. At this point, no more stirring the rice. We're just gonna create little pockets and distribute the rice throughout the paella pan. Okay, our rice has been cooking for about five to seven minutes. You can already see the broth is starting to come down and the rice is starting to come out. I'm going to continue to stir occasionally, creating these pockets to distribute the broth throughout the rice and the pan. Once you're at this point where you have such little broth left, let's go ahead and turn our fire down to low and let's let it simmer. Okay, our rice has been simmering at about three minutes on low heat. And it's been a total of about 15 minutes in the pan after we added the broth. And shake it a little bit so you can see there's very little broth left. So at this point, let's go ahead and turn off our fire. Okay, so our rice has been resting for about five minutes. So let's go ahead and take off our dishcloth. So now let's go ahead and garnish it. I went ahead and grabbed our lemon and cut it in wedges. And there's our finished plate of arroz a banda. If you enjoyed today's video on making arroz a banda, please subscribe to my channel so you can receive all my future videos showing you how to cook fabulous Spanish food. Until the next time, hasta luego.